now how to um, do some um, just to put to be putting some radiuses in on random objects in Illustrator. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to start with an A3 file, and it's just going to be, going to be this sort of random shapes here. Okay. So it's not like I've got the grid up or anything like that. It is just I'm just creating these shapes. Is that cool? All right. So first of all, we all know that if we go to rectangle tool, we can draw just a basic rectangle, but it has no corners on it. Yeah? You can go to your rectangle tool, long click on it, you can actually go to rounded rectangle tool. There's a problem with this, and I'll show you this issue now, is that once you've drawn it, if I zoom in, you are stuck with that radius. Okay? All right, so you can see here that it's got the, um, the nodes are actually there, all right? And you can't modify it as easily, all right? I'm just gonna delete this, and I'm gonna go back to our rectangle, our, our square, okay? I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to go over to Effect, and I'm gonna go to Stylize, and then go to uh, Stylize, and I'm gonna go to Rounded Corners. And this thing here puts a filter on your object. And I'm going to click on preview. And at any time, I can just punch in 3 mil. Yep, sweet. Does the same thing, but check this out. All right, I, do, I draw something else further on down the track. I come back to it and I think, oh, actually, I don't want to have a 3 mil radius on this anymore. So I'm going to now modify it. All right, so I go back to effect. I go to stylize. I go to rounded corners. Oh, cancel. I don't have to do that anymore. Um, I go to window, sorry. I then open up the... I go to the effects section. Where are we? Appearance, sorry. You go to appearance. Okay. And then under appearance, it has the effect applied to it, which is rounded corners. You click on it and you can adjust it. Click preview. And you can adjust the radius any time. Is that cool? So imagine this. If I have a complex object and I want to, have, want to apply a radius all around the whole thing, a round off across everything. So I'm just going to use my pen tool. I'm going to make this a random object. Okay. Right, something like this. Okay, cool. So something like that. And I just want to have round off on everything. So instead of doing this complex sort of changing around of all the um of all the nodes, I can simply go to the effect toolbar, go to stylize, stylize, rounded corners, click on preview, and it puts it in for me. That's my three mil round, round over, all the way around. So now I know that I won't be sued by my customers with cut fingers on plastic, on those really sharp plastic edges. Okay, every product you see out there has at least a one millimeter round over on it, the very minimum. Even all these beautiful Apple laptops have at least a one millimeter round off on it. Even though you feel it with your finger, it's very sharp. Right, it's still got a one millimeter round off on it. Okay, is that all right? Yep. There's other methods as well. Do you want me to show another method as well? Okay. So here's another method. I'm just going to use my rectangle over here, and I want to put in another radius in here. For example, I draw my rectangle. I switch over to my ellipse tool. All right. I draw an ellipse over here, which is going to be like. I know, 20 millimetres by 20 mil. If, let's say, this one's going to be 30 mil, so it's an odd-shaped round over, okay? I now move my circle over here till the edges intersect with each other. You can see how it's intersecting right now, okay? And then I select them both. I go to Pathfinder. Pathfinder can be found in Window. And then Pathfinder is over here. 
Okay, path one is over there on mine anyway, so I'm going to bring, bring this to the center so you can see it. So here we've got other things. We've got Unite, Minus Front, Intersect Option, which is going to get rid of everything else apart from this middle band here. This one is going to be the one here, Divide. So I'm going to click on Divide. Okay. I now can click on this bit, minus it. Okay, get rid of it. I now go and select the whole thing again, and I click on Unite. And then I've got this beautiful bull nose. It's called a bull nose corner, which means that it's an off, it's an oval shaped round over. Mainly done on furniture, for example. Okay, is that all right? Any questions? No, sweet. Please subscribe.